Aquaculture may be defined as the rearing of aquatic animals or the cultivation of aquatic plants for food. Marine aquaculture, also known as aqua farming, may also involve the breeding, rearing and harvesting of goldfish, shellfish, algae, crustaceans and mollusks in different types of marine environments. According to the National Fisheries Resources Research Institute Nafiri, aquaculture has also proven to be environmentally beneficial and has had positive impacts on the ecosystems. Some of the benefits include enabling fish stocks to reproduce, fish recovery through active management and regular observation, compliance with the minimum fish size requirements, and reduction of unintended bycatch such as other aquatic creatures. We started on the issue of cage culture. We now have cages spread and we, as I talk now we have over, over 5,000 cages on Lake Victoria. So we have come up with a system where we can produce large quantities of fish and a very small volume of water in what we call the cages we call low volume high density cages. Source of the Nile fish farm located in Buikwe district on the shores of Lake Victoria is one of Uganda's largest aquacultural sites. They are currently carrying out fish farming in both ponds and Lake Victoria. The 64 ponds and the source of the Nile fish farm, also known as Sun, are not only used for breeding fish but also providing fish fry for the Ugandan market. The owners of the farm that has grown to the extent of harvesting and exporting fish to different countries say that work is tedious and that a lot of money has to be invested into the fish feed to ensure that they grow. On the environmental aspects, aquaculture is deemed to be environmentally friendly and safe since especially when it comes to conserving the fish habitat and nurturing young fish species to grow without any form of interruption. It doesn't affect the quality of water. So in order for us to ensure that actually from the start of the operation until now, we have not altered anything in the lake. We do quarterly environmental monitoring. Now in the quarterly environmental monitoring, we are basically looking at what was the quality of this water before we started the operation. Here at the lake, a team of scuba divers, commonly known as frogmen, employed by the farm, make regular patrols in and around Lake Victoria to ensure the safety of the fishermen and cage fish farmers and also to ensure that the fish farming methods are not harmful to the lake. Uh, it's a routine, it's weekly and we do it twice a week and uh, also we do it when we are called upon so it is not restricted that we only work twice a week. It's challenging but since it is our job it's a routine and we are used to it but it is energy consuming however. Dr. Anthony Tabo Munyaho, the Director of National Fisheries Resources Research Institute Nafiri advises Ugandans to take on aquaculture being that it does not only provide sufficient food and protein from the fish but it is also economically viable. We are also moving into what we call aquaculture parks. In aquaculture parks, we, have, we want to have large concentrations, large concentrations of, 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 of production. You bring very many farmers together and they make big ponds, if it is in the land based, they make big ponds and then produce from that one there. And to that effect, we have a new project, an EU project, worth 10 million euros. Dr. Mnyao also reveals that Nafiri is currently conducting research on the Nile perch to find ways in which it can be grown in a controlled environment of fish farm. So we are focusing our effort on to domesticating Nile perch. We want Nile perch also now to be produced in captivity, to be able to produce Nile perch from fish farming. So that's one area which is grey in our research area that we are now focusing on. For now, local people are getting empowered economically from the fish farms surrounding their communities. Here a number of people gather to buy fish cheaply, which they later take into their communities to sell for a small marginal profit. Suhail Mugabe, NTV Green.